It's uh, obviously a painful, uh, you know, finish, and uh, you know, but it, but this has been you know a breakthrough year, you know, for for our program, and it's been led by uh, you know guys that I absolutely admire, their their competitive drive and their will to win, and and uh, Trey Holder, Shannon Evans, and and Cody Justice. Uh, those guys have had great careers. Uh, you know, for me, they always have a very special, you know, place in my heart uh, for for how they compete and um, what they what they're meaning, you know, to the future of what you know what we're building at Arizona State. And uh, I'm not surprised that we were uh, we were you know had chances to win again, and it's what we've done all all year. We've been in every game, and uh, you know, difficult game to play, obviously with with Syracuse, uh, and and a lot of credit to them for for how well they defend. This was. You know the lowest point total that we've had this season, and uh, you know, usually we're, we're scoring 56 and a half, and uh, you know, we ended up with 56. So there were limited possessions. It was uh, it, it was it was a rock fight, um, you know, and and we just didn't uh, didn't make enough shots. You know, we uh, I thought our free throws hurt us. Uh, you know, going three for ten, and and then uh, you know we just needed. You know, we shot 30 34 from three and we made 11 which is great but we just need to hit like two or three more and that's always been you know if we're at like 40 percent then we got a real good chance but you know these guys fought as usual and it was uh you know a terrific season for us questions for cody and shannon only at this point here on the left uh cody you you guys have faced zone uh, a lot during the season um is facing zone against syracuse different than facing other zones? I mean, I think so. It was their length, athleticism, the way they take away the corners, um, kind of taking away the middle. It was difficult, but I felt we attacked it as best as we could. We, like Coach said, we made shots that, um, and we missed a few, but I felt like we were in the game and our defense was, was pretty good tonight. And I felt we played pretty well. Here on the front left. For Cody and Shannon, uh, what was the difference uh, between the first few minutes of the um, second half when he went on the um, on, on an 8-0 run, and then the last um, minutes um, of the game? Cody, can you answer that first, please? Um, we were just aggressive. I felt like both times we were just aggressive. We were making plays. We were making shots. We were doing what we were just executing our offense. And then to end the game, this a few shots didn't go. That's all it came down to. Shannon, uh, I kind of agree with Cody. We were being aggressive early and. Uh, Later on in the half, we didn't make shots. So I feel like that was it. You're on the right. For both of you guys, uh, could you just put into words uh, what your college basketball careers have meant to you? Shannon, can you answer that first, please? Uh, personally, mine has meant everything to me. Uh, the opportunity that Coach Charlie gave me. Uh, Something I'll never forget. Cody? Just the opportunity to grow as a person, a basketball player. Um, what else could you ask for? You get a great coach like this to let me go out there and play my game and show the world who I am and kind of just be free and go out there. I love these guys. Um, they'll always be family to me. Back left, we'll go Tim. Yeah, for either one of you, what is it like going against that zone, though, when they've kind of got it going? Like you said, you know, they're long and they're out on the edge and everything else. I mean, is it like trying to crack a safe? How would you describe it to somebody? Cody, can you answer that, please? Um, you just got to – I don't know. It's it's difficult, obviously. That's why they run this zone. But you just got to be able to attack certain areas with the middle, trying to get the ball to the middle. Then with that, we can kick the ball out and uh, get shots, um, be able to – just stay in attack mode. So yeah, obviously it's difficult. That's why they, I feel like they've ran his zone for so long. But we just got to be aggressive in certain areas. Any further questions? Cody and Shannon. Oh, back right. One more. Uh, this, this is for both seniors. Remy talked about uh, how much you guys meant to him and growth as a player. Uh, what, we, what do you believe your lasting impact will be on ASU? Cody, can you take that first? Um, just being able to give these younger guys the opportunity to play in this tournament like this. And this feeling right now, it, it stings, it burns, and this is going to help them get better 
to help take this program further. So I feel like being able to give them the opportunity and they helped us just as much to be able to get into this tournament and to have this feeling that we have right now. Yeah, it sucks, but I feel like they're going to grow from it. Shannon? Uh, I mean, I feel like we did a great job. We had a great run. And uh, from what this program was when we when we got here until where is that now, I feel like uh, I mean, it, it can only go up from here. Uh, we got great guys in our locker room, young guys, and uh, we set the standard. And now it's, I mean, it's time to come back and, and win some games in the tournament. Time for one more. Anybody got any questions? All right, Cody and Shannon, thank you. Congratulations on your careers. Open the floor for uh, questions for Coach Early. Yeah, we're going to the aisle on the left here. Bobby, uh, the, wanted to, Jim said that you obviously were going to go after their guards who have been playing 40 plus minutes every game and try to wear them out. How, being as, as you played that way, uh, how amazing is it to you the the minutes and the way the the level that they've been able to play with? Um. Yeah, I mean that's that was kind of our, our part of our plan coming in is to to get after Howard some and uh, and try and get some pressure and you know, we worked on a little bit of run and jump which we did to try and you know, we want to try and create pace to the game and and we never were able to really truly accomplish that uh, because. You know, those guys, I thought, for the most part, handled the, the pressure very well. And, you know, even for all the minutes they play, you know, late in the game, it, it was battle, you know, off the dribble that, you know, that, that had the legs under them to, to, to make a big shot. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of, you know, what the game really came down to was just, uh, you know, plays like that that were made and we weren't able to make enough uh, shots. Uh, and we got good shots. We got, we got some floaters, got some threes. Uh, so we had, we had good chances. Um, I thought it was was 49-42, and and we we weren't able to, to continue to build on that. That uh, you know us allowing them back in it uh, really hurt our chances. Here on the end on the right, Bobby. At times this season, you shot free throws very well, and then down the stretch, not as much. As as a coach, is that hard to explain how that happens? Uh yeah. I mean, pretty much it was. Um, it was across the board. It wasn't wasn't one guy. You know, you, you know, in a, in a game like this, and I, and I said it was, you know, a defensive oriented game. A, a, you know, and, and I thought it could end up going in that direction based on on our opponent and their style of play. And you have to, you know, you have to knock down your free throws and and uh, you know, open threes that you get. And it's uh, because there aren't a lot of great looks out there to be had. And you know, these guys did a great job to even you know, move without the ball and, and, uh, and find open areas so we're able to, to, to get some clean looks uh, late in the game. Here, front, front left. Bobby, even though you came up short today, I thought it was probably the best um, game as far as attacking the zone. I mean, there were like six, seven possessions, this textbook, um, how to break a zone and finding the gaps, finding the sweet spots. Yeah. Um, did, did you feel that was probably the best? Um, yeah, I mean, our, there, was not, there wasn't a real issue with our offense. Um, you know, Syracuse uh, dragged us through possessions and, and, you know, went deep in the clock. And, and, and to their credit, the way they defend and how good they are at it, you know, we had to use more time in a possession and be patient and then find the good shot, even if that meant it was as the clock was winding down. But I think 19 assists out of 21 uh, made field goals is, is a great number. Uh, we didn't. Our bread and butter all year, you know, has been turnover margin, and and we've, uh, you know, we've we've uh, we've done very well in that category, and, and we were flat in that today. So we didn't generate enough turnovers. Uh, they scored 15. It was 15 to four uh, points off turnovers, and that's something that we've we've uh, we've dominated that category with most opponents. So again, we just weren't able to create enough easy baskets and. And I'm telling you, when you're in that zone, they, 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 uh, there's a pass that's open, and, and if it isn't executed at the right moment, it's going the other way. And we had a couple of those work against us as well. Right here on the left. Uh, you mentioned 49-42. Uh, when Jim was in here, he's, after the timeout, he said they ran the same play four times in a row. It sounds like you should be able to take care of that after the first or second time, but what is it about 
the same play working four times in a row against your defense? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look at look at the film and 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 try and remember. It's like uh, it's a blur right now. Um, and again, this was this was probably as well as as we defended uh, in in my recent memory uh, of watching us uh, play defense. We're, we've uh, we've been a high scoring offensive team, you know, the whole season, and we just couldn't generate enough points in this game to win. Uh, our, our defense did the best you know job it could do. I think if you know if you'd have told me coming into this game that we would hold Syracuse to 60, I I, I would have thought you'd be crazy if I if I if we weren't on the right side of it. Time for one more question. Here on the right, last one. I'm sure this is difficult to do, Bobby, but can you just kind of, how would you describe the season with all the highs and lows that you guys had and then the disappointing finish? It seemed like you went through just about everything. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I don't look at the season in any stretch of the mind as, as a disappointment. We, these guys are warriors. They, they fought. They, uh, they delivered some you know, memories that I'll always remember uh, in, in some of the key games that we won this year. And, you know they've elevated Arizona State basketball. The seniors have. They they'll have a special place uh, in my heart. I've been I've been through so many wars with these guys, and they show up and they compete. And they're uh, you know you're going to have to play the, you know our team for 40 minutes uh, to win. We uh, you know we just lost some games this year where you know we had you know shots to win and and they didn't fall and and. Uh, you know, or, or play different here and there, and, and we're on, you know, we're winning and, and advancing. So, uh, you know, my heart's broken really that I can't coach uh, Shannon Evans and, and Trey Holder and Cody Justice anymore, and that's, uh, that's sadly disappointing for me. It's, it's, uh, I have such a, such a connection with them, and it's, uh, it's part of a great part of, of coaching that you can build those type of bonds, and I just hope that, you know, I continue to find guys like them, and if I do that, then we'll be, we'll be in tournaments like this. Uh, quite a bit moving forward. Bobby, thank you. Thank you. Quick attendance note. Tonight's attendance was 12,732, 12,732. That is a sellout. It is also a first four record for attendance, 12,732.